In this episode, I want to take you to one of the most popular hikes in Zion National Park, the Narrows. To get to the trailhead, you have to get to the end of the scenic canyon drive. If you go during a busy season, you might have to take a shuttle. Here you'll reach what's called the Temple of Sinawava. From here, you take the Riverside Walk trailhead until you reach the end. But first, to do this hike, you must be physically prepared. And what that means is having the proper gear. So depending on the time of the year and the temperature of the water and the depth of the water, you might need different equipment. Uh, I went in December and it was cold, so I rented the full dry suit package. The cost of this was $59 and there's plenty of options in Springville, Utah. No, I'm not going to outer space doing a hike here in Zion. It's a very popular walk and this time of year because it's cold. Uh, I have to dress like this. My very sexy boots and onesie. You see those rubber gaskets that go on against your skin and hold everything tight so water doesn't seep up your ankles. And then also in your arms, this will keep me dry and hopefully warm. <laughs> there are two options for this hike. You could do an overnight camping trip uh, that starts from the north and ends down here in the south end of the river. I'm going from the bottom up. It's a little cloudy today, so I don't know what kind of light we're going to get for pictures. Whatever, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. There's always a flash flood potential here. So you have to be a little bit careful. Usually there's a place to climb. We're in December, so it's the wrong time of year. But it's worth noting and knowing what to do. Once you get into the slot canyon, there's nowhere to go from there. <laughs> This is just the beginning and this is amazing. The water is freezing. This part of the river is where you have to be a little bit more careful with flash floods. Uh, so if you see the water turn brown or if things start changing a little bit, it's time to look for higher ground or turn around and run. It sucks that the camera just can't show you what this feels like. How amazing, and I think I'm overdressed, I'm sweating. You could feel the water temperature through these boots. The boots are not waterproof. Um, I have double neoprene socks on and that keeps your feet warm but you can still feel how cold the river is. <laughs> this is awesome. This is where you need the, the stick because some of these rocks are a little bit slippery so it's like having an extra leg. Also you can check to see how deep the river is in areas. I like this section of the river here and I was going to take a picture uh, but I was going to try with the polarizer to see how much, see if, it, if I can remove some of that glare. I was hoping for some sunlight and then everything would have an orange glow but we don't have that today. So I don't know if this is going to turn out but let me try using the polarizer. And see what kind of image we can get. Obviously, on a hike like this, uh, you can't bring any dogs. <laughs> so Bambi, Bambi sit in the car. I told her I'll be back in six hours. So. I've been walking for an hour and a half. I've also been stopping a lot for pictures and video. And I'm not halfway there yet, so I need to speed it up so I can get to the end and back in less than six hours and maybe surprise her. I'm sure you can see all these logs here behind me. All this stuff here. The river is way down there. 
All this was brought up here by a flash flood. <laughs> how, you can see how dangerous this can be. This here is another beautiful section where the canyon begins and it closes in like this. They gave me a map when I rented my, my suit so I knew the names of the places and things but I left it in my pocket and I can't really get to my pockets right now. This hike is not extremely difficult I wouldn't say. The rocks are a little bit slippery, the water pushes you in certain places but if you take your time, you're gonna really enjoy this. An incredible landscape. What is yet to be discovered here is amazing. Here's another canyon. Uh, I've been there and it's pretty, but not as pretty as what's over there. So let's keep going. Here are the shadows, the, the shapes. Everything is starting to get some texture. The canyon walls just have a different glow and a different energy to them. My shoulder is killing me from holding the camera like this. It's on the tripod. I didn't want to bring the gimbal because that's just way too much gear to carry. But this is... I really can't explain how unbelievable this is. Wow. I think the section I've been waiting for is right around the corner, the Wall Street section. I think it's the most photogenic part of the canyon. Or so I've read, the whole thing has been spectacular. Let me show you. Getting close, that gets really deep. My halfway alarm is going off. Uh, it's almost time to turn around. I set the alarm for three hours so I could get back to where Bimbi is. This That's not gonna work if my microphone is way down here, huh? So anyway, I'm at the halfway point. My alarm went off. It's been uh, three hours since I started hiking. I've been stopping for picture and video. It shouldn't take this long, but I've been busy. Uh, I'm gonna start heading back now so I can head get back at a decent time. I'm changing batteries because my camera battery is about to go also. But this has just been an incredible hike. Uh, the light never came out, so I don't know how the pictures are gonna look, but it, it's still an incredible experience. So if you're ever in Zion, make sure to come do this hike. I think I find this section of the canyon here to be the most beautiful ever. The views, the everything, it's just amazing. And I've been hiking, I've been out for four hours now. Just a quick story, I watched a video a friend of mine made. His name is Paul Parsons with Choose Adventure California Style. And in this video, he talked about what to put in your backpack, what's important. Paul here, let me show you what I got in my bag super quick. So I always carry a life straw with me, just in case I'm a little bit of a prepper. A bright colored sweatshirt, just in case you get lost or something like that, you can easily be seen. A tampon, a flashlight, bear spray, and a horn for the critters. A pocket knife with a flint. Two bottles of urine. Doesn't have to be your urine, just uh, any urine. It's not urine, it's Gatorade. A power bank with cords to charge your stuff with. And a Hank Craig flashlight slash lantern, also a power bank. Of course, I chose to ignore all his advice and fill my backpack with the camera gear. Just what I do. I've been hiking, I've been out for four hours now. I didn't eat breakfast and now I'm hungry. I drank all my coffee 
Something else that I enjoy about these hikes is meeting people. <laughs> I met some people from North Carolina, a couple from London, from Texas. There's people from everywhere. And it is cool to come and see so many people enjoying nature the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Having an amazing experience. I almost tripped there. And everyone is in awe of the beauty of this place. And that was the Narrows. <laughs> It is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with some of my favorite images. <laughs> the light didn't come out there like I wanted to, but I, I think I got some great shots. So thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It really, really does help me. Uh, click the like button and I'll see you next week. I gotta get out of this space suit because I am sweating. Next week's video, I spot a turkey, my water bottle freezes, and I just can't make it to the end of this hike. So I guess this is Charlie 1, Angel's Landing 1. <laughs>